Hello, we are starting today um, the new session. Uh, today our main topic is uh, if the beans come through, the hybridization program. Basically the Yael stopped their hybridization program uh, because it was incompatible with their mission to, um, to guide open contact. So they wanted to come clean and they didn't want to uh, be uh, what's the word to be oh, accused uh, to be accused that uh, the hybridization uh, that they took people abducted people for hybridization program that stop it but they do the volunteer human colony and I propose that they resume the hybridization program but now with um, with volunteers so we will we'll invite volunteers to donate their genetic material on the website and many people would want that because they would um, want maybe they won't have uh, children here they want children there or maybe they have children here but they want more children there or maybe they want to help others they want to create other civilizations they want to donate our human material to other civilizations to hybridize with and obviously hybridization program also helps the humanity to get alien genes so the hybrids come here and bring more talented genes for suitable for the four dimension for telepathy and empathy uh, obviously, the being higher beings, higher consciousness like El, Jesus, Buddha, friends of Jesus, all are welcome to come through. Krishna, uh, Muhammad, um, you name it. So they go first, and if they want to speak and ask for questions, we can speak to them. Or if they want to give a sermon, we would welcome that as well. Um, now we start our shop on the website and already we were given a symbol, Lakesh gave a symbol to our friend Peter and Peter is a graphic animator so he even did an animation how the symbol comes to him in his mind and we got the human colony symbol from Lakesh. Now we realized we can get more symbols and put them on t-shirts and jewelry and that would help uh, our project just financially so we can sell that and everybody gets a chance to have that in their own possession. So we brought uh, our friend Lisa who is a graphic designer and old friend even we really trust her and she is very enlightened and she is very knowledgeable and aware of the aliens and other things of this sort and she is very talented. She is immensely talented in graphics design. She made, makes, in no time she makes beautiful designs which I love. So we'll put her on the bed and we'll, uh, Jim and I will do Reiki and she'll be here only for a short time for half an hour and then she will leave, say goodbye while the channel continues. For her we invite uh, Lakesh obviously he gave already symbols if he can, can give us more symbols for that specific purpose to make goods out of those symbols and explain what they mean. Uh, Someone from Syria, we love Syrian symbols, uh, so if they can give us artistic designs or symbols and explain what they mean. And Tall Pleiadians, Lakesh, Lakesh is a short play, we will also invite Tall Pleiadians, we love Tall Pleiadians as well. So they're welcome. And now I pause and we'll start the channel session. Okay, go ahead, jump on the bed. I'll cut that piece out. <laughs> yeah, like jumping on the bed. Part. The jumping on the bed. It is, it's very good. It's very good. It's like, uh, you how go. do you do that? Anyway. Well, <laughs> it, well you're, a, you're just, you're petite. So, so let me get, I have to get ready anyway. What kind of pie is it? It's triple berry. Oh, I it's love that. Rumble berry. Yeah. I love it. So on your hand you'll have uh, something if you need to draw. Okay. If you can remember it, you don't need to draw. Okay. If it's more sophisticated than you can All remember right, it, you can draw. Hello. Hello, Hello. Lakesh. Yes. Welcome. How are you? One moment, please. All right. It'll be better in one moment. There is much weather happening on your planet. All right. Makes it a bit harder to get through the atmosphere. What's happening specifically? Low fronts. Low fronts. What? Low fronts. Oh, okay. How about the axis? 
another difficult point. Yes. Moving slightly more. Uh-huh. One moment. All right. I have to get my speech into... Ah, Lisa. Yes. Yes. Greetings. Hello. Greetings. Greetings. Ah, yes, there is much going on with the, the craft around your continent. They are doing much work with the weather. I see. And some work with the axis. I guess you'll start with asking, um, do you have any announcements? Anything? Not that I'm allowed to announce. Good enough. Um, then I'll start with asking personal questions for Lisa, which I can cut out if she wouldn't approve, I'll cut out. Yes. Right. So give her some insights about her. Uh, does, she has a hybrid, does she have a hybrid child uh, up there? No, she does not. Not yet. What percent of island DNA does she, does she have? What percent of hybrid? Alien DNA does she have? She has some, yes. I will tell you just a moment. Nine... Nine percent. Is it Pleiadian? It is actually Yil Yil. Yeah, Yil! Yes. All nine percent? Yes. Who, who is your her grandfather? Who is her Yael grandfather or father? Zentokrap. Zentokrap. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Say, say we're saying hi to Zentokrap. I am sorry. Is that funny? Uh, the I just the feel name is joyful. funny. Oh, she is. She's just happy. Ah, I thought it might have been a funny name for you. Oh, for, it, it is a funny name, but that's okay. Notice her size. She is your yield size. <laughs> is she? Yes. <laughs> All right. For many of the yield females are her size. Yes. Was so it? She did get the size from them. But she is the daughter of her parents, right? Yes. 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 At which stage did she get the yield DNA? It was uh, introduced to her during the first nine months in her mother's womb. Uh huh. Was she ever abducted? Not at this point. Not but she is guarded. And she is observed. Guarded by Yael? Yes. Nice to know. It's, it has become a practice among the, those who have hybrids to send someone to observe them to see what percentage of hybridization uh, personality qualities come out in the human species. Uh, Does uh, that make sense? Yes, are any specific qualities encoded in here? Yes. Which ones? That is not for me to say. That's fine. What's the name of your, your Yale guardian? I am not allowed to say that either. Is he around now? Yes, he is. A, he, uh, a, a male? Yes. Say Actually, no, it's not a male, I'm sorry. A it female? A female. Say hi to her. All right. Lisa, you have any questions? I told her they wish to say hi to you. All right. Is, <laughs> is there a, um, a recent incarnation of Lisa? Is her soul recently incarnate? Has her soul been recently incarnated on other planets? Just a moment. In that would be yes. What culture? The the Aran culture. Which one? Aran. Okay. Aran. Yes. Because the uh, Yo culture, she wouldn't fit in that way with the Yu Yo culture with her present appearance. But it, I mean, not that it would be uninvited, but they decided Aran. Whatever. Thank you. Um, her husband, is he hybrid? Just a moment. He has a slight bit of hybrid in him? Yes. Uh-huh. Only 3% though. 
Does she have any other close connections? Maybe other relatives up there? Nothing close other than that one, the father. Excellent. Lisa, do you have any more questions? Um, what can I do to work on my telepathic connection? To the oh, idea? very good. Meditation, of course, always is good. Mm -hmm. But with the heart, the, the one thing that humans seem to do that causes them to not be telepathic is they, they ground themselves and then they, they bring the vibration up, but it stops right here right here at the throat chakra, mm -hmm. because they do not get out all the things they need to communicate. Mm -hmm. They do not know how to communicate it, they don't feel comfortable communicating it, they don't feel like it's worth communicating. However, there are dark things inside everyone, Jesus spoke of this, that must come out, must come out. And that will open up the throat chakra so that you may speak out the things that need to come out. You may do it alone. You may do it with someone who else is of a higher vibration and not judgmental. But these things need to come out so that you can get past this and move into the upper chakras. Mm -hmm. But the heart is connected to the solar plexus and the third eye because the heart is also connected to the the solar plexus because that's where your destiny and will and, and uh, what you want to be in your different things like that are and so that is also connected to your your telepathic nature because those things are a, a positive vibration they will bring your up your heart they will bring up that those things in your heart that need to come up for telepathic connections. Does that make sense to you? Yes. It's hard to s surmise something so complex in such few words. Okay. Because there's what, much more to it than just the verification that it's there and the verification that your heart has accepted it. Much more to it than that. But this, once you get beyond that, it also connects to the third eye, mm. which is the heart and the third eye are the true, the heart is the true beginning. When you start feeling the intentions of others and know, can feel good and evil in a room, can feel negative and positive, when you start feeling those kinds of things then you know that your heart is in tune to a telepathic way. Mm -hmm. But once it connects to the third eye, then that becomes a whole different connection. Okay? That, it, it's a different connection. And it, it brings much more insight to the whole telepathic experience. Okay. But you um, first must move out with your heart. Yes. yes, thank you. Yes. You're welcome. Any more questions? Not at this time. Okay. Uh, where does she get her uh, artistic ability? That is um, from her parents and grandparents. Uh, earthly ones? Pardon? Yes. Uh -huh. oh, oh, there are definitely earthly things that cause talent, yes, and skill, and positivity. There, Because you are just a spirit in a, in a flesh capsule body, whatever you want to call it. But you are a spirit on a journey into the flesh. So, the reason we brought Lisa was we wanted to ask for more symbols. Yeah. And we wanted to support, we just found a new way, invented a new way to support our project financially by selling those symbols in, in material form as t-shirts, jewelry, and other artistic oh, designs. Oh, you're going commercial, Max. <laughs> just to support the site. Oh, I and see. the video. Well, I understand, I understand. Um, I understand, yes. You have been asking for many, many months about financial gain because both you and Jim are in financial trouble sometimes. Not trouble, but you don't have any money. Sometimes in their own world, it's like this historic 
period of time we are in big financial trouble. Well, whatever it is, I I can't relate to that, but I I do hear, I do hear that. So, so I wonder if you could come to Lisa and give you more symbols. Hmm. Yes, I could. Yes, or I invite your your friends to go to visit nice friends from your civilization. It will be like my finger drawing in your mind. Oh, okay. Okay. That will that is how you will get it because okay. it is a geometric figure. Okay. It has angles and, and circles. Okay. So you will see it. Thank you. Uh, my friends on the side ask if your people wear jewelry. We do wear jewelry through our celebrations. Uh huh. We do not wear jewelry when we are in classrooms studying. We do not wear jewelry if we are just around our domain area. But for celebrations, which are numerous, jewelry is much appropriate. It tells stories because each piece of jewelry tells a story of a celebration before. And some people may ask about your jewelry and you may during that celebration celebrate again a past celebration. Excellent. So while we're on video, can you give us one of the symbols, you know, without drawing, can you just describe the meaning which we could use so it would be one of the symbols which your civilization could give to ours oh, uh, as a present? Uh, as a, uh, to speak it? Yeah, How just speak a symbol. Yeah, you can kind of give some sort of a meaning and history of some of one symbol or another. Okay, can you give us something which has a textual story about it? Which has oh, a, a symbol that I know, you mean? Yeah, which you can give us as a present. Oh, okay. And then you can give it to Elisa later. Well, Oh, well, that might be difficult. I can tell the story of a symbol, but to show you the symbol... No, just the story of a symbol, and then you can oh, send it to Lisa oh. later. All right, very good. You, your, your earthly planet, uh, as you know, has many natural trees and plants and, and animals and different things. So we, uh, we as well look at the planet and we see things that on the planet may symbolize something in the spirit. Does that make sense to you? Yes. You, like, like a tree may, that has a, a very big girth might be a support to you thinking that uh, it is very strong. Mm -hmm. Okay? That kind of thing. Yes. yes. Well, then we would take we would take the water, and you know how it flows. Well, our water is slightly different, has a slightly different uh, chemical makeup, okay? So this way, when we look at the water, it flows actually slower than your water. We see the water as it moves as part of our growth. Mm -hmm. And there is a symbol, like waves, mm -hmm. that, that interlock. Mm -hmm. They interlock, but the waves interlock and it's a sign of growth and prosperity. Mm -hmm. So there's one of our symbols, is, is waves that interlock, and it is a sign of growth and prosperity, because many things are alive in the water as well. Yes. yes. And we began life in the water like every other planet, pretty much. Their life was in the water first, before there was uh -huh. anything on the, on the the actual material planet. So therefore, the water is a, a wonderful symbol of life. All right, excellent. Can you give us also a symbol of love? A symbol of love? Uh -huh. Ah, we also take symbols from nature yes. for, for love. And we have the symbol for love is a tree and a flower that have intertwined. Uh -huh. and. The tree is the man and the flower is the woman, mm -hmm. but yet the, on our planet flowers are very large. So uh -huh. <laughs> some some plant, some flowers have trunks this big, round. You see, uh -huh. so we have a, a small tree and it's all wrapped around uh -huh. in the flower, and the blooms and the leaves come out at the top. Oh, beautiful! How about symbol for peace? A symbol for peace. Ah, oh, yes. Well, we have uh, different kinds of clouds 
in our sky, okay? Uh -huh. They are very puffy, or they're very straight and they're very much like yours, except for different colors because of the different min minerals in the air, the different substances. Yes. So there is, the color green is our color for peace. So we take a green cloud, okay? Uh -huh. it's, it's a very fluffy green cloud. And in the middle of the cloud, we have a ring. And the ring is gold, and the gold means that it's he heavenly. Uh -huh. So this is heavenly peace. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. How about symbol for ascension? For ascension? Yeah. I don't know if there was a symbol for it. All right. How about symbol for friendship? Oh, friendship. Oh, yes. It depends on your the group of people that you are in. There are several symbols for friendship. Okay. For ours, for our symbol of friendship, there is uh, rain and snow. Uh huh. Because we also have snow. Wow. It's a it's it's different than your snow, of course. But um, rain and snow coming together, and then hands holding at the bottom. So How do they hold? That, like this. Wow. How about thank you? How about symbol for forgiveness? Forgiveness symbol. Well, I don't know. There's no forgiveness. Symbol. How about thank you symbol? Oh, thank you symbol. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, thank you symbol is. Um, from nature also. Uh, thank you. How, where do I, how do I say that? Uh, um, 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 you are, you're looking at the horizons, okay? The, the water is here, the sky is here, the clouds are up here. Oh, uh, that one's too involved. And, uh, let me do a different thank you one. Okay? <laughs> All right. <laughs> because it will be much easier to explain. All right. A thank you one is um, there are two eyes and there are two lips and just like on your planet and there is a smile on the forehead. Hmm. So it's a face with, with a, a smile, smile on the forehead. Yes. Wow. <laughs> How about Something you use for meditation, a symbol help in meditation. Oh, there's many symbols you can use for meditation. Something um, very simple which you can advise to humans people, to use. Some people use a star, some people use a, a dodecahedron, uh -huh. some people use um, a circle, mm -hmm. a light circle that's, that's three-dimensional. You, you can picture a it sphere. as a sphere, yes. Uh -huh. And some people use... Um, actually a uh, pointed a spire. Some people use a spire for their... I, I find that one to be a, a little difficult for myself. But from the... it looks more like a a, a very thin pyramid. Spire. What would you recommend to invite your higher self? This is how you do that. You take this the symbol, whatever one you choose, into your heart. You, you start your meditation from the heart. Okay. And you you see the light within that symbol, yes, uh -huh. until that symbol starts to get larger. And you move that symbol out until it surrounds your body. And when it surrounds your body, it also connects you to your higher being, your higher self, and your spirit guides. But you have to know how to communicate with them, so that you have to act, call them down so that you can speak to them. Otherwise, you can just move that meditation out as far as you like into the universe, into that, and and concentrate on though that symbol. How about a symbol to connect to nature? Mm -hmm. A symbol to connect to you can connect to nature with any of those symbols. Uh -huh. So you can connect to nature. You can connect to inanimate objects. You can in interact with the void in space, if you like. If, but you see, it's really not void. There is particles in there. But um, you see, this is the beginning of your expansion mm -hmm. outward. And when you expand outward like that, eventually, not at first, it takes a while to understand 
the meaning of meditation and what you are to glean from your meditations, but and and what you want to glean from your meditations, but they can move out from you exponentially. See? Exponentially, okay. Whatever, whatever. That's the way he says it. So um, <laughs> exponentially. Exponentially. Oh, whatever. All right. Um. What was I saying? Give us a symbol for healing, which you would you invite for healing with. Oh, not a problem. Healing. There are several symbols for healing okay. as well. My favorite of the symbols for healing is a hand on the forehead. All right. Okay. Yes, like that. So it is drawn on a, on a flat surface, or it is just how you gesture it? Would it be it's gestured? It. If you see the hand on the forehead as a symbol. And in a, any area, usually it's somewhere that is a place where someone has to go for a pro that uh, that has a problem. It's like a symbol for your medical institution. Yes, they're not called that, but yes, yes. Okay. What other symbols you would use to invite healing to yourself? Well, we use some similar Reiki C symbols. As you use here, you call it Reiki. We do not call it Reiki, but I'm just saying that word so you will know something okay, similar. Right. What symbol you would use to connect to all that is God, the God that all that all that is? I would use prayer. I would not use a symbol. No symbols whatsoever for the for the Father God. Nothing or for the Creator. We have symbols for Him, but we don't need them to connect to Him. Uh, do you have churches with sort of sort of symbols in the church? Church. Yeah. Oh yes, you have institutions. We do not necessarily have churches as you know them. They are open to the moment you feel driven to them. We do not have a one set time to go. Of course. We just go there. And it is in a shape of a pyramid, so uh -huh. that it brings, draws energy in, and there we connect to our thoughts and feelings and God, and then we understand that He can more directly influence us with His energy. What do you decorate this church with? Do you use symbols for decorations? Symbols for the correction. Decoration to paint. Oh, decorations. Well, we have uh, pictures of very spiritual things that are representative to us that are spiritual, yes. Like um, people that in our past that were extremely spiritual. Just like what you do here, except with um, little blue people. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So we have... Uh, on, in Christian churches we have a cross, in Muslim churches yes, we yes, have yes, a new yes, moon. Jesus, yes. Yeah. Do, do you have any symbols for Jesus? We didn't know him as Jesus, we know your Jesus as yes. Jesus. He has been on many, many planets incarnated. Uh -huh. Here he was called Gra. Gra? Gra. 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 Uh -huh. Yes. And he had a symbol of cross or something else? He was not, did not have to die here. So no cross? No. He did not have to die here. Our diversity was not as diverse as your diversity. That did not sound right. <laughs> no, no, it's perfect. Perfect formula. So, so there was no symbol for church other than no, pyramid on the top. But he did leave in a very enlightened way. He did not die. He was assumed. Did he help your ascension? Yes. Was it his, is it his primary, per, primary way he helps the civilizations to ascend from third to fourth? His primary way is to purify. Yes. Purify. Yes. He's a teacher and a purifier. Yes. What do you use for white magic? We don't call it that. Yeah, your science. Alchemy would be closer. <laughs> what do you use for your alchemy? If you're permitted to say. We, it is not much practiced since we have uh, things such as molecular reorganizers that 
we can have something made for us. So we don't need magic to do that. But um, mostly technology with a high spiritual consciousness can do the same thing. Uh huh. Uh, you mentioned brass cones. Yes. Brass are they cones. straight cones or are they curved cones? S curved, straight. No, they're. You have uh, party hats that are. Yeah. They're straight. more in like that, except for thinner. 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 Huh? Yes, thinner. Like they come out, but they don't. I mean, they're large cones. Some of them. Large it's, cones and some of them are very. Some of them are the size of a house, and huh? other ones are the size of a teacup. So, but they do different things. But they still have. They function in the same way, mm -hmm. as they can move. There's the power to them to move things from one place to another. There's the power of them to actually uh, change things. Uh -huh. And there's a power that they can, you know, disrupt. They can tell time. They can. We, we use them for many different things. We started looking at that and we found on one shop they have two cones mm -hmm. facing each other with sharp ends. Yes. And in the middle is a yes. crystal. Yes. So is it, would it be functional if we just make a cone and connect two cones with a crystal, quartz yes. crystal? That yeah. would be one source of drawing energy onto your, into yourself. Yes. Was, and those cones were curved, they were like... Yes. Would it work fine? Yes. They were like almost round thing. Yes. Like that. Yes. That's fine. So what... There's sort different shapes for different reasons. And some amplify one reason and some amplify another. And what? some diminish. Diminish. What sort of crystal would you recommend? Is quartz a good crystal? Quartz is a good crystal if it's pure. Yeah. All right. What would you? How would you use this? Two cones with a quartz in the middle. That's an intention-based question. Yes. You could. It depends on what the cones were made for. Would you? Suppose I don't know what they made for. They are sold as a. They can bring in energy to you. Mm -hmm. They can bring in. A, they can bring in other <coughs> uh, matter and actually pull it through into the quartz. And that would, the reason for that would be to uh, materialize a, maybe a thought or a dream or a, a something that you want to become clearer about. Uh -huh. Does that make sense to you? Uh -huh. So that it would bring in the materials and it would, you would be able to sort of look at it. Okay. How about uh, health and meditation? It would help with meditation because it's bringing in energy, yes. How about healing? It could bring in energy for healing, yes. Can I use it to connect, communicate to you as a communicator? Mm, no. Okay. <sighs> Can you ask if any other beings want to come, like from tall Pleiadians or from Sirius, if they are ready to come and give us their symbols right now? Just a moment. All right. Perhaps one may come. Perhaps one may come from Sirius. We invite them. We shall see. They are not coming yet. So we have lots of questions for later from the users, from the members of this site for yes. you. Mm -hmm. So whenever yes. Lisa will go and we'll continue later. So come again if you can. If I can, I will. We also have one question. What is your job at the moment? A job? Yeah, specialization, profession. Our job is to learn and to be better. What specifically your special? And the only job that I ever do is helping with the function of the planet. We all help with that. I understand that. So, how, what percent of your activity is uh, communication with the, earth, with the Earth? My personal... Personal? Yes. I am only 2%. Uh-huh. But, I will give more later. I'll, we appreciate your effort. Yes. So, I'm going, going to go now. Yes, thank you. Alrighty then. He was in a different frame of mind today. Hey Jim! 
Hey. <laughs> nice to see you. Nice to see you too. <laughs> He's okay. He started high and then he got tired, but he was still working really well doing, doing his uh, answering the question. Oh. We got so much gold today, so many presents. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Good. He already described the symbols. Even if Lisa doesn't get them, we already can make them. Mm -hmm. Okay. And everybody, you know, our listeners, viewers, watchers, do your versions of the symbols and post them on the site. We will oh, appreciate that. Mm -hmm. That's a very good idea. I'm sure some of them out there are really good at it. Yeah. <laughs> that stuff. Yeah. Okay. I need to. I need something to drink. <laughs> All right. Should I bring or you will go? Yeah, I'm gonna go. We'll get pause it. now. A pause. We'll do a pause. We'll do a pause. How are you? How are you? Good. Are you it's okay? Really wonderful. Ah. Yeah. He had some pretty good energy today. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> good energy from you too.